James, and to Washington County now that may soon turn into a wet county if residents get their way. Right now, there is a push from a representative to allow the sale of alcohol there. NBC 15's Ken McGrath joins us. Ken, you spent the day talking with residents. Yeah, that's right, I did. Now, most people I spoke with, they are in favor of it. Mark Platt is a farmer in Fruitdale. He tells me it's time for a change. This county has been losing tax revenue for years because it's a dry county. People go to into Mississippi or they go to Mobile County to buy alcohol. Plot says residents who drive the distance to buy booze are also making other purchases. They don't just go to buy alcohol. When they're down there in Citronelle, they buy cigarettes, they buy bread, they buy gas, they do their banking. They could be doing that here. Plot believes money from the alcohol sales tax would be put to good use in the county. Infrastructure, uh, paving roads, building bridges, uh, broadband internet. Uh, if, if the school board could get, get some of the tax revenue, they could improve the school system. We also met up with John Adams. He's a veteran who lives in McIntosh. He tells me he's ready to vote yes to having a wet county. The revenue coming off of uh, the alcohol, beer and whiskey and everything, is going to Mobile County and it's going to Clark County. But uh, Washington County is right in between them and they ain't getting none of their money off that uh, that revenue. State Representative Brett Easterbrook says Washington County has suffered from the dry law. And we have parts of our county that they can't even keep a convenience store open because uh, there's nowhere for that they can't sell the alcohol. So. Now, some people in the county, they do want to keep it dry uh, because of religious purposes. Meanwhile, Easterbrook, he will introduce the bill next month. If it's passed, it then heads to voters to decide. Greg.